Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name's Chris and today we are going to compare the Harbor Freight Bauer 20 volt cordless jet fan blower item number 64942 to the Ryobi One Plus 18 volt jet fan blower item number P21081A from Home Depot. Now looking at the first two items we mentioned, they are both brushed. So we are going to add in the Cobalt 24 volt brushless jet fan blower item number 1157558. Now looking at the price point on these items, the Harbor Freight Bauer 20 volt comes as a bare tool item only, meaning you have to purchase the charger and battery separately, bringing the total price to around $120 with only a 90 day warranty. You can extend these, but it does not include the battery and it'll cost you upwards of $151. Now the Ryobi does come in a kit as well as the Cobalt and these range anywhere from $129.99 to $159 and may even include a string trimmer. So let's look at some of the specific marketing details and one of them is a variable speed. Now the Harbor Freight has a zero for off, a one and a two for a high and a low. Now let's take a look at those. These are very basic. Now these aren't my favorite. I like these variable speed triggers a lot better. And in fact, they get pretty decent here. A variable and a locking variable. This is great. So the Cobalt by far is my best choice for the variable speed locking trigger. So continuing to look over these items here, we can see that the rear motor has a front facing or rear facing fan and the Harbor Freight Bauer is the only one that has a forward facing fan where the Ryobi and the Cobalt both have a rear facing fan that faces towards us as well as the Ryobi and the Cobalt have the least amount of area available to bring in air. So these will be really interesting to put in a wind speed test. So with getting all that air in, you have to get the air out. If we look at the nozzle system on these, you can see that the Ryobi has this little scrape plate here and it is exactly the same size as the Bauer with the Cobalt one coming at the largest. That really doesn't matter because you can take off the front portion of the Bauer here, which is actually really annoying. It fits so tight, it's really difficult to get off, but it can be done. And now it's the same size as the Cobalt, and you can also remove the front part of the Ryobi, but I wouldn't do that because then it doesn't sit flat, and it's probably just annoying that way. So now let's go look at some of the airflow speed tests and sound tests. So first we're gonna look at the Harbor Freight Bauer here and this thing is pushing up some super strong numbers. It's got a max air speed of 62.7 miles per hour at roughly around 20 inches from the end of the nozzle and it comes at a cost because it is pushing out 98 sound decibels. Now looking at the Ryobi here, this one, you know, a little disappointed here. It's only pushing a max air speed of 50.8 miles per hour well, it's still throwing up a loud 95 decibels. And it's just got a high pitch whine to it, so that would be something that you would have to get used to. And last up here, we take a look at the Cobalt Brushless Jet Blower. Now this one, because it's brushless, it operates just a little bit differently, and it comes in at the quietest at 91 decibels, and the max airspeed is still a very respectable 55.8 miles per hour. So it looks like we got the Harbor Freight coming out on top for the max wind speed so far. Now let's go ahead and top off the batteries and we'll see how these perform. And just so you know, if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And the Harbor Freight Bauer only has a three amp hour battery and that's the largest that's available for that line currently and for the foreseeable future. Now the Cobalt and the Ryobi both have a four amp hour battery and the Cobalt one also happens to be brushless. So coming up here right at the 9 minute and 34 second mark, the Harbor Freight Bauer is at its end of the line and we'll continue the testing here. So while performance is important, so is efficiency and runtime, and that's where the larger batteries, the 4 amp hour, really shine. We do have to remember that the Harbor Freight Bauer line is limited to a 3 amp hour battery with no larger batteries for the foreseeable future. Now here we can see at the 15 minute and 30 second mark, the Ryobi battery just doesn't have any more power left to it. And this is one application where I can really see the brushless technology just truly shine. 
and great application and we also get that longevity and runtime coming in at 18 minutes and 57 seconds before that cobalt one just doesn't have any life left. Let's grab a couple battery temperatures. We can see that the Ryobi is the hottest and the Harbor Freight one not having worked for the last 12 minutes, it is the coolest. So after about eight more minutes, the Ryobi battery finally cooled down enough and it started taking a charge. Now that we're off to the races, let's see how long these take. Something to note about the Harbor Freight Bauer lineup is that they will be carrying a string trimmer in September of 2019 for roughly $49.99 and also the Bauer lineup will not be expected to have any larger batteries than a 3 amp hour battery or carry any dual or quad chargers. Now that battery finished charging up in 2 hours and 5 minutes and it is a 3 amp hour battery where the Ryobi battery is a 4 amp hour that took 2 hours and 23 minutes and that cobalt battery that is also a 4 amp hour battery and that finally finished up in 2 hours and 44 minutes so now let's get on to that usability test. We're going to start off with the Harbor Freight Bower here. We have that extended smaller nozzle on it. And you can honestly hear this thing. It is just tearing through all the debris on the ground. It's just blowing it away. This thing, hands down, has more power than any of the items out there. That being said, you do have to be cautious that if you have any loose fitting clothes, the back of this thing just sucks in so much air that it literally pulls the shirt that you have into the back of the machine, slowing it down if you are not being careful with it. It has no problems moving these small debris and rocks on the ground. And this one really does operate well. I just don't like that switch. I don't feel like I'm saving any battery between moving it and it just seems cumbersome. Now the Ryobi one here, this one just sounds like a toy. Now. It does have decent specs. The Harbor Freight one hands down destroys this, but at the end of the day, the Ryobi lineup, it's just so deep and so wide that they have so many tools to offer. And this coming in with a three-year warranty and the price point that it comes in at, you have to look at Ryobi. It is just a super compelling line and it is a decent tool. It operates just fine. It's just got a couple things that, you know, could be made better, but they do sell bigger models than this. Now, the final one here is the Cobalt Brushless, and I'll tell you guys, this one, hands down, just seems quieter. I know we looked at it in the decibel test, and it wasn't quieter by a lot, but it sure sounds like a ton less when you are actually using it. I really like that. Um, I don't notice the fact that the nozzle on this one is wider. It seems to just blow through all the debris as I would like and that variable speed locking trigger that is just an absolute pleasure to work with. So that variable speed locking trigger that is on the left hand side so it works really well for right handed people. I'm not sure how well it would work for left handed people. So all things considered these are all very capable jet blowers. So you have to start looking at things that are very little that may not affect the overall performance but such things as battery indicators and the placement of them or the fact that a unit might be so powerful that the opening actually sucks in your clothes or how does the unit actually function where the Bauer unit might be great for a left or right handed person but I might prefer that variable speed locking trigger as it just seems to operate very efficiently. So all things considered, do you guys have any experience with the Bauer, Ryobi or the Cobalt lineup? Do you think one of these lineups has a place in and around the house or the work or job site? Which one do you think is the winner? Why don't you let others know down below in the comments? And as always guys, work smarter, not harder, and I'll catch you in the next video.